people welcome once again to my youtube channel this is amanda's cooking channel okay channel where we do all kind of dishes which is you how to make dishes that you enjoy that people will enjoy okay so those are the kind of videos that we do on this channel all right now in today's video i'll be showing you how i make a nigerian pepper soup i'll call it herbal pepper soup or yeah the way i make my pepper soup so you can use pepper soup for yam to eat yam is a good combo can you use it to eat stash you can use it to eat a but there are lots and lots of ways that you can use pepper soup for now in today's video i'll be showing you a, a different soup because there are two basic ways that pepper soup is prepared that i prepare pepper soup okay there's one that's usually very light another you use melon okay i have the blended melon not the seed melon so i'll just quickly show you the ingredients i'll be using for this pepper soup and then what i have on fire ready okay i'll just show you now i have my and what's it called? I have pig. Some persons don't eat pig meat, right? If you, if you're amongst those people who do not does not eat meat, uh, pig meat, please signify in the comment section below. So let me just show you how it looks like. It's been parboiled. Okay, I have meat, pig parts, or like the intestines, okay, and the leg. So that's what I'll be using to prepare my pepper soup so the, the steamed meat or the boiled meat and the water is already there this is the melon i'll be using to prepare my pepper soup okay this is the melon i'll be using it's been blended already grinded from the market straight on i have my maggie cube and then most times we use already made pepper soup spice so this one is success pepper soup spice made in nigeria so I'll be using this grinded pepper. So I'll quickly show you the quantity of these things I'll be using. I might use everything. So all this soup that you make is dependent on how long you want your soup to last for, how much people you have in your house. Okay, I might not use all of this melon. I definitely will not use this pepper as well. So I'll quickly just show you the quantities that I'll be using. Making pepper soup is not usually, you know, it doesn't take so much time to make. Okay, from that, from my observation, I make pepper soup all the time. It doesn't take so much time to make pepper soup. So, I'll quickly just show you the ingredients, like I said, that I'll be using to prepare my pepper soup. So, this is the blended melon. Okay, this is my pepper, grinded pepper. This is the pepper soup spice. I took it out of the bag. I have salt, maggi, and potash. I use potash for my pepper soup as well. So because um, this melon is in this form, I'll just add a little bit of water. I like to lighten it up. Okay. So. I'll put in a little, I'll put in a little bit of water to lighten it up. Okay, and then just give it a little bit of stir this way. Now, some people blend their tomato, their melon. Some people blend their melon in a blender in wet form. So this was actually in a dry form, and then I'm going to, you know, I'm making it into the wet form. So if I had light and blender right now, I could do it, you know, in this wet form. So the first thing I'll do now is just to add my pepper to my soup pepper soup so it's expected to be really spicy it's supposed to be really spicy it's supposed to be spicy so i just give it a stir and uh, add my maggie cube add my maggie cube and um, and my salt i'll just put a little bit of it and cover Cover it, allowed to wait for some time, and then I'll come back to show you what I'll be putting in. The so, meat, so the meat and um, the pepper I put in to it, they yeah, are boiling seriously. So I have to, I'm going to add my pepper soup spice to it now. Okay. Add my pepper soup spice to it. Add my pepper soup spice to it and stir. So I'll add my pepper soup spice to it and give it a gentle stir. 
stir for some time. Okay. While you are doing all this, please test for salt. Test for excess anything. While you are doing this, please test for salt and other things. So I'll cover having put the what's it called pepper soup spice. I'll cover for a while. Then I'll come back and add my melon. The soup has been boiling for about 10 minutes now. So I'll start putting my melon into it. Okay. Put this way and stir. Put this way and stir until you put everything. I'll come back when I'll finish putting everything, okay? So this has just put it. I'm putting everything. I had to stop for a while to put it in because I'm using my hand. Please at this stage, if you enjoy what you're watching and you love you want more content, more beautiful content like this, then please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, okay? Please, please consider subscribing. I also have another channel, Mandy and Family. Please subscribe to both of them. So, having put this uh, melon into it, this uh, wet melon, I'll just let it boil for some time, then add my potash and voila, for this red. But I'll come back to show you how far it goes. So that's how I prepare my peppers. Simple, if you already have your pabort meat, okay? Simple to make, sweet, delicious, okay? It's as a good combo for yam, plantain, you know, when it's cold, you can drink pepper soup. You can drink this thick one as well and the light. Probably in another video, I'll show you how to make the light pepper soup. Alright, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you're watching, you enjoyed what you watched, then please give my video a thumbs up. That's a like, share, subscribe, comment, do all those good stuff they do on videos. Until I come your way again next time on uh, with another video. This is Amanda's cooking channel saying thank you so much. Unless I forget, please, I have another channel, like I said. It's Mandy and Family. Please subscribe to it, okay? And hit the notification bell so that whenever I upload any video, you'll be the first to know. Thank you so, so much. More videos coming up on this channel and the other channel. Please support me as much as you can. Until I come your way again next time, remember this. God loves you. Jesus loves you. So do I. It's wisely. It's well. Okay. God bless you. Bye.